Hi guys, um, I decided to do this uh, small uh, tutorial video uh, because, you know, like uh, for all the Blackberry Passport lovers, um, since uh, there is some lack of support from Android and uh, um, sometimes it's very hard to get um, more modern app uh, application working properly and uh, uh, the reason why uh, some people maybe uh, give up easy on this device so um, of course my uh, my passion about the blackberry passport it just got behind that and i don't want to quit my device my uh, blackberry passport is my uh, main phone i use every day i have everything i needed there and but unfortunately uh what happened is lack last Sunday, a week ago, basically, uh, I got a notification from my WhatsApp that they say that you need to upgrade your app in order to use it. And of course, I couldn't do that because lack of the support. So I didn't have WhatsApp anymore. And I say, what I'm gonna do? I watch video, there are plenty of video on YouTube, but most of the video that are like the like two years, one year ago, and of course, when WhatsApp um, declared that it's gonna, it's not gonna support all devices like uh, BlackBerry 10, uh, there is not much we can do. So if we can upgrade, it, so basically at a certain point WhatsApp, it will die on our devices. But I've been studying all Sunday. It's been like <laughs> six hours trying to find a solution and I got a solution so I have my uh, WhatsApp working properly on this one and actually it's the latest version. So I'm gonna show you uh, very quick, very simple what I did. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is if you have uh, your WhatsApp on your Blackberry, you need to delete the app properly. So to do that, you need to open on your uh, BlackBerry Passport the BlackBerry Google ID. This is part of the package if you have uh, uh, the Play Store, the Apple uh, Android Play Store. So once you go there, you open, you click on the three dots, you go Android Settings, Apps, and then you're looking for the app you wanna delete. This one, of course, works for any app you wanna really delete on your phone, that's what's up. Of course, I'm not gonna delete it because this is like the final uh, app that I uh, upgrade on my phone. But if you wanna delete the app properly beside your uh, main screen, you need to go here and check if it's properly deleted. So once you delete it, what you need to do is basically go to um, the BlackBerry world and I show you the app. So you're looking for, it's called a uh, WhatsApp 10 fixer, I guess. So I'm gonna go easier on my uh, app to find it right away. And show you uh, which one is the one that you guys need to install on your phone. Is right there. So it's called a WhatsApp 10 for WhatsApp Messenger. So you need to uh, look on that on your BlackBerry world, install that. Once you install it, what happened, as we know, we uh, don't need to pay any apps anymore. It's right there. So even if the, the website is asking you like uh, to download it, upgrade it or whatever, you just leave it in the way it is. It's just that background app that gonna help you to fix your WhatsApp. So you do that, you restart, uh, restart your uh, device. To restart your device, you press on the power button and see you have the restart there. So you start restart the device. So delete WhatsApp, 
install the fixer, restart it. After that, you go on your um, Play Store. And you're looking for um, your WhatsApp. Let's see if I have a here. I don't think I have here. Anyway, so you need to look here for WhatsApp as the last version right there. And I'm gonna show you because I took some uh, uh, screenshots to show you like uh, the version of the WhatsApp that uh, I downloaded on my phone. This is the version, so it's a 2.20.205.1.0. So that's the latest, and that's what I have on my phone actually. And that's uh, a screenshot of the fixer that you find on the um, Blackberry world that we talk about it. And then, so that's the version that I have right now. So after you do that, you restart, uh, restart the phone one more time and then you're gonna have uh, like uh, all the process to pull your phone number and verify your WhatsApp. And as you can see, like uh, here is WhatsApp, it worked just fine, right there. I have all my contact, I'm in touch with my family uh, for business and for personal, it's right there. It works everything. So you have uh, like uh, any function that WhatsApp offering right now because see, uh, is the later version, which is great. You can use it uh, without any problem. And then you can upgrade your status. You can see picture of your friends. Um, you can video call them, normal call them right there. You can do whatever you want. It works just fine. And uh, it gives you all the future that you need it. So basically, what you need to do, you need to have a, before to install WhatsApp, you need to have a, like a delete properly the app and uh, have a, the uh, WhatsApp 10 fixer from your Black, Blackberry uh, World Store. And as you can see guys, um, of course we are not talking about anything beside WhatsApp because this is specifically for WhatsApp, but I want to show you what I accomplished because as I say at the beginning people give up on this device because of lack of support But if you really like this device, it's also a good opportunity to learn how to do things and uh, I'm not consider myself like a, a, a developer or an hacker or a, a Techno guy. I'm not a tech, a tech guy, but I like a technology for I believe the basic stuff that we do every day. You know, like uh, everybody has on his own phone, like a uh, WhatsApp, uh, Facebook. Uh, some people use Twitter. I don't. Uh, Instagram. All this app, uh, the social, install, restyle, upgrade. All this stuff is part of like to be a little techno. So to know how to have a kind of like a develop like a, a basic knowledge of what is like installing a program on a machine. As you can see, I have a, a plenty of apps that work flawlessly, and this is a result of like eight months working on this. Because, uh, as I say, like some apps they don't work properly because of lack of support. So I have a WhatsApp, I have a Facebook, I have a, like a desktop version, I have a, a version for my BlackBerry, and I have a Messenger. Work just fine, never crash perfectly. The best uh, browser. For BlackBerry Password is Kiwi browser, it works just like a, a champion. It's amazing. I have my email there because I couldn't set up my Yahoo, but I have on the hub uh, Gmail. Um, of course, personal information like a bank account. If you are not able to do uh, to download the app, you just do like a, a connection between the native browser. To your main uh, desktop, you uh, you just have it there. Uh, I have a Uber, <laughs> crazy, crazy, yeah, it's working just fine. I have a Uber, I have an Instagram. It's called an East Ten. Um, same thing, like from the BlackBerry world, it works great. 
Uber, Blackberry, World, Workgreat, Waze. I just uh, um, downloaded from uh, uh, APK Pure, uh, which is a, a website that offer uh, several version of an app. So you need to go back in time and see what is the the one that is supported from your phone. I have also LinkedIn for work. I have a Netflix there. I have a, a Skype and uh, I have the Play Store and uh, I pretty much have everything I want. I don't see anything missing on this phone. Everything works flawlessly. Of course, uh, trying and retrying for months, like uh, what is the, the right, um, I have Spotify. Um, what is the right uh, version of the application that you need to use on your device. So that, that's it. I hope this um, video will help uh, people that are struggling right now. They don't have a WhatsApp on the passport. Just say you guys don't give up on your device. Of course, we know the new BlackBerry is coming on the market next year, but we can still use our passport. I love this phone and I think I'm going to have this phone for a very, very long time. Well, thank you so much for watching and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Bye-bye.